Well, it is one of the most closely watched legal challenges of our time. 20 states looking to block key parts of the president's new health care law in court today in Florida. The judge apparently meeting them halfway on Greta Van Susteren in court for those proceedings. The host of On the Record joining me right now. Greta, let's set this up. Why is this important? Because if the judge declares it unconstitutional, all the work of Congress on this health care and all the people who wanted it will no longer have this health care bill. Now, what it does is it'll send everybody back to square one. What it was today was the, the states have filed, 20 states have filed a motion to declare the statute unconstitutional. What the government did today was they went into court and they said that the, that the lawsuit, the, the, requ the request to have it declared unconstitutional should be dismissed. And the judge heard our Argument. And it was sort of interesting because the first thing the judge had to consider is whether the states could even bring the action at all. Because in order to bring a court action, you've got to show that you were harmed. So what the state did was the states showed how they were harmed economically. The judge then must make the decision. If he finds out that they do have standing, that they can bring this lawsuit, the judge must make a decision whether or not the statute is constitutional. And it falls essentially on two words. One is the state says, or the federal government says, that they can regulate this because it's interstate commerce, because it is act activity. And what the states say, no, it's not activity. Ordering someone to buy a, a health insurance is not an activity, it's inactivity. So it depends on how the judge interprets the word activity, whether, the, whether that's activity or inactivity. The federal government says, okay, if you don't buy that argument, then the reason why this is constitutional is because we have the constitutional authority, the federal government, to tax. And what the states say, what do you mean tax? The president didn't call it a tax, the House didn't call it a tax, the Senate didn't call it a tax. When they enacted it, they did everything but run away from the word tax and it's not a tax it's a penalty and if it's just a penalty then it looks like the federal government can't do it so you're going to see a, there's a lot of wrangling today on words no. and i tell you neil i couldn't read this judge at all i have no idea whether or not he's going to say the states have standing and if so whether or not the case remains because the constitutional challenges are a good one i do expect though that since the since the states do go into court on a motion to dismiss would serve a leg up because the judges assume everything they say is correct that it will move to the next stage, which is a motion for summary judgment in late October. All right. So the bottom line is that at issue here is whether the federal government can force you to buy insurance, the linchpin of this whole health care program. And you're right. If this were junked by the judge, then you effectively take the meat out and the teeth out of this entire health care yeah. law. But, but here's what I want to ask you. Let's say the judge quickly decides the federal government overstepped its bounds here. It, it, does it stay? In other words, uh, does it stop the law it, on its it, tracks? It, what? The, the judge was, wasn't even going that deep today. He's just trying to decide whether or not it's so facially bizarre or absurd, and I'm exaggerating it, that he throws it out, that he dismisses it. it so, so he's not going to decide that. What he really is going to decide is whether the states can continue, whether they've asserted enough to show that they've been harmed, and that the constitutional challenges uh, are, are ones that ought to be considered. That's where we are today. So it's, it's not even quite to that stage. But the most but interesting aspect of this, what if we get to that stage? What if the I'm is sorry, that in, what, what in then? the statute, what there's, there is no severability clause. So if the judge determines that the federal government does not have authority to order people to buy this, these insurance, then the entire health care statute gets thrown out. You can't just sever out one little piece and say right. that's unconstitutional and the rest of the statute stands. Man, oh man, that's big stuff. No wonder why you're following all of this. Greta Van Susteren, on the record, she's on this like nobody's business. Thanks very much, Greta. Thanks, Neil. By the way, on this last...